I believed in living this lifestyle. It just makes each of us better. I expected there would be other wives. I think there's room for everybody. I like sister wives. I wanted the family. I didn't just want the man. The wives work together. I want to be a part of that team. Love should be multiplied, not divided. Watching Sister Wives, now we see the struggle the women and kids have gone through growing up in this family dynamic. Were there good times? Sure. But overall, growing up in or marrying into this environment was lonely and stressful. But hey, wait a minute. Remember back in season one how polygamy offered so many benefits, especially to the women and children? Today, I want to talk about the Browns' early hard sell of polygamy and how they debunked these selling points themselves over the years. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In the original opening sequence, we have Mary saying that this lifestyle makes each of them better. Janelle says she always expected more wives, the more the merrier. Of course, Christine utters her famous line that she wanted the family, she didn't just want the man. And Robin says she wanted to be part of a team. And Cody utters the now notorious love should be multiplied, not divided. Not every polygamist experience is just a wonderful rosebush out in the middle of a meadow. And that's kind of how the Browns seem to paint polygamy. The Browns weren't even living the version of polygamy that they painted for the cameras. Maybe the two wives that lived the truest to what they said in those original opening intros were Christine and Janelle. I think Christine's dedication to the kids and her friendship with Janelle does indicate that she was about the family, not just the man. And truthfully, I don't think Janelle really gave two shits how many wives came into the family. Mary saying that this lifestyle makes them better or Robin saying that she wants to be part of the team. Fire! What an objective crock of shit. And Cody saying love should be multiplied, not divided. Is living monogamously dividing love? Are monogamous people having to do without or having something taken from them? There are a lot of people living all over the world in polyamorous relationships and they are having good experiences. I get comments on my videos all the time about people that choose poly or non-monogamous relationship dynamics and they are very happy. Maybe what Cody should have said here is that he validates that people can have a good experience living non-monogamously, but the Browns were most definitely not and they would go on to disprove all their selling points of their version of polygamy. One of the Browns early selling points to us as to why their family is so amazing is there is so many extra hands raising the kids and that if something were to happen to one of the moms, there are backup moms just in case. When you're looking at this lifestyle just as, you know, what can I do to help you or what can you do to help me, it works out totally well. Having the support system of each other as we work together, it just makes each of us better. It's definitely a benefit to this lifestyle to have somebody there and in place if anything were to happen. Perhaps this was the Browns' early answer to being compared to the Duggars, another fundamental religious family featured on TLC around the same time with well over a dozen kids. Hey, well, at least we have five adults co-parenting all the kids instead of just the two. I also get Mary's selling point, giving Mary peace of mind because she did lose a sister very young to cancer. The fact of the matter is, similarly to the Duggars, we see the older kids in the Browns family get parentified and it becomes painfully clear over the years it really is just too many kids to take care of and to make sure all their needs are met. It takes most of the adults going out into the workforce in order to support a family of this size so Christine ends up getting saddled with the bulk of childcare. plus she works a night job at the same time. Janelle is out there working really long hours 
And Mary talks about having multiple jobs at different times. We know from the kids speaking out now that they saw Cody at best once a weekish for mere hours at a time. Cody never divided his time evenly. And even if he had between four households, that would maybe be a couple days a week with dad. What ended up happening in the Brown family, much like kids of other fundamental or quiverful families, is it ended up being kids raising kids. Gwen preferring to take Logan, her oldest brother, to a father-daughter dance at school really tells you everything right there. Next, I want to talk about this notion of all the freedom you get from being a sister wife. You don't have the freedom to sleep with Cody every night because you have to share him. Right? Damn, that's too bad. <laughs> Do you know how liberating it is to not have to sleep with him every night? I don't have to sleep with my husband every night either, and he's not sleeping with other women when he's I'm not sleeping with him. I've talked about this in other videos the sister wives love to talk about how much they love the independence and freedom that comes with being sister wives this is dressed up neglect christine's aunt kristen rebuts mary perfectly yeah i don't have to sleep with my husband every night either and i'm also not worried about him going out and sleeping with other women what we see in practice with the Brown family is Mary, Janelle, and Christine constantly making up excuses for Cody's obvious preference for Robin. Again, I think Janelle was the most unbothered by the status quo, but even she states in season 17 that her marriage with Cody doesn't look anything like his marriage with Robin. It actually made a lot of us uncomfortable throughout season 16 and 17 seeing Cody state in interviews how much he hates being around Mary, for then Mary to proclaim in her interviews that she would gladly take Cody off the other wives' hands if they were sick of him. Send him my way, she would say. Here is a compilation of what the polygamy detractors had to say at that debate featured during season six. My father was never around, and when he was, he wasn't a very decent person. I thought I was the first wife, but then, then he had this revelation that there was a new wife and she was going to be the first wife. And, and so I became like a slave to this sister wife. Sister wives are not friends. They hate each other. When my husband started courting other women, my heart was broken. I, want, I was pretty much suicidal by then. Honestly, to me, the horror stories these people recount mirror the Browns in a lot of ways. The young man speaking of his childhood, shoot, he could be talking about Cody the way he is talking about his dad. How eerily similar is Aunt Kristen's marriage that she speaks of to that of Cody and her niece Christine? It would almost be spooky if it wasn't so common in the AUB and other fundamentalist groups. Oh, and that lady saying how she was usurped as first wife? Um, hello, Mary and Robin. The wives speak often of having to make decisions by committee. How annoying. I actually saw this discussed over on Reddit. Sometimes my husband and I have to come to a consensus if we don't perfectly align on how we like to spend money. I cannot imagine having to include three more people in that decision-making process. More often than not, all of the wives had to defer to Robin, the obvious head slash favorite wife. We may end up seeing more of the financials discussed in season 18 with Janelle and Cody's separation being featured and Mary putting a permanent end to her and Cody's situationship. Christine was able to make a relatively clean break, but I think it's going to get more complicated and messier for Mary and Janelle. There are episodes of other reality shows that feature non-monogamous relationship dynamics that are by and large successful from what we see. The Browns being the poster children for functional polygamy, a swing and a miss. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And just a couple of housekeeping items. I've been talking about it, but we do have a Facebook group. The link will be in the description if you'd like to join. I am now on Threads, which is Meta's answer to Twitter. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me still on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and now follow me on Threads at Reality Squad. 
I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.